what is going on sheep army this is your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about bone she will swap token as well as k9 finance guys i wanted to make a separate video for this this is why i didn't report this yesterday because i just wanted to make this totally separate so this way you guys can understand what is up coming especially for bone guys now we already know we have she will swap 2.0 which is a huge catalyst. And even when I was making my price predictions as far as like Bone reaching $100, guys, this price prediction was without K9 Finance. And the crazy thing about it, like if K9 Finance is able to do everything that they're saying that they're going to do, guys, then we could see Bone surpassing $100 easily due to the due to the liquidity aspect of what they're going to be bringing on to Shibarium. So I'm going to try to break this down to you guys in this video and also just show you just a few examples of what we're already seeing without some of these stuff, guys. So make sure you do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about Bone. Bone, as it currently stands right now, just today, of course, Bitcoin is having a little pullback. It's down 1.81% on the day, sitting at 92 cents. If you look in just the last seven days, guys, we've been consolidating. And again, I love consolidation. Some people might say, Random Arts, why do you love consolidation? The reason why I love consolidation because it creates a base. It is establishing a floor, meaning people who are getting in, they're getting in at these positions. So typically, if you're getting in at these positions, then you're looking for higher prices. The longer and longer it consolidates, the higher the pop as far as if it goes on the way up, it's going to be. So hopefully this consolidate at around the 90s for the rest of this month going into the Bitcoin halving um, as well too. Um, at least that's what I like to see. Uh, because again, once it breaks from consolidation, then we're having more established floors. So typically 92 cents would be a more established floor or 90 between the 90s, you know. 90 cents ish uh be more of established for so quick news as far as with bone um and again i predicted this was going to happen as far as us being on our name being listed on binance now we're starting to see more and more of these exchanges want to do you know leverage trading as far as with uh bone so now you could actually get 50x leverage on l banks um, futures remember futures is what we were trying to get applied for as far as on binance they saw that boom we get listed and i think um gate.io did the same thing as well too just a few days ago so again when it comes to exchanges it's monkey see monkey do if one exchange is doing then more likely you're going to see other exchanges start to do it um, when it comes to the big ones so this is why i really want to see us listed on binance as well too because once we're listed on binance we're going to get a flood more listing. It could be little listings, but that's just a whole separate topic at hand, though. Um, but I'm glad to be able to see this as far as what's happening right now with L Bank 50x leverage. This is still getting Bones name out there, even though I don't recommend leveraging anything. I mean, the most that I'll probably leverage would probably be uh, five, five X um, at most. That's just me um, looking at the quick blockchains right now, guys, 412,000 as far as transaction. It looks like more people are starting to do more inscriptions. So hence why the numbers are spiking up a little bit more. Uh, so killer, guys. I need some of you guys to take profits. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking to get in another position. Ever since I got into pre-sale, I still haven't sold anything. I'm still holding on. Um, but I need some of you guys to start taking profits. Get this chart down so that way I could get in some more. Um, because I believe in the near future... We're going to see big run-ups when it comes to Bone. Uh, I'm sorry, when it comes to Soul Killer, uh, due to the fact that I'm still seeing a lot more people coming into the blockchain and the asset that they're gravitating to is Soul Killer, guys. So as you can see right here, the number six wallet currently sitting at 7.9 million bones, guys. That was bridged over, and this number just kept, it, it's constantly just going up. So probably by the next time I make my video, it may be at 8. 8 million uh, bones onto the layer two, at least using the bridge. So that's pretty exciting just to be able to see more and more people coming on to. Now, uh, the Soul Killer, it does have use case now. So if you're not aware, on Mantra, 
you could actually use your uh your soul killer your damn token to be able to buy nft so this is the latest nft that's on there it is selling for 250 million soul killer so that's about like thirteen thousand dollars or something like that and again these are the shiba rock nft collections so when it comes to these collection i think the floor price of it is roughly around like 1700 um so you guys could go ahead and check it out and also if you have your soul killers and you want to buy some nfts you can certainly buy it on here as well too so as you can see here's the listings for it here and yeah this is the lowest uh 1750 a uh, bone is the so uh is the floor price for it now this is the really meat and potatoes of this video that what i really wanted to discuss so i had um of course they were doing the poll as far as to be able to see whether or not for soul killer to put a pool for it on the ethereum side me i'm against it because again ethereum that's taken away from bone and i get what they're trying to do um and this is and when I say they, I'm talking about the community because no one actually runs uh, Soul Killer. It is the community, and this is what the voting is. So majority of the vote that I was seeing were people were for being on the Ethereum side, and I was like, nah, I don't think you know that's such a good idea due to the fact that we are because when it comes to obstacles, whenever there's profits to be made, people are gonna figure it out. People are gonna figure it out. And if people are saying like, oh, this is the hurdle and all this and that, then I suggested like, okay, why don't we just do a solution? And the proposal that I made was for somebody to create a receiving contract where they could actually send their bone token to that contract and it would automatically just spit out, um, you know, convert their bone into soul killer. Um, and I get it. Like it, it is very complex as far as to be able to get the receiving contract, match it up with the bridge, then with the bridge. Like it, it, it is a lot of coding. But that was going to be the solution. I mean, again, I'm not a coder, but I've seen contract operate, and I've seen how contract work. Um, and that was one of the su uh, suggestions that I had. But Buzz came out, and this is just letting you know how powerful they're going to be especially when they launch um these features in q3 so we all know that they're going to be providing liquidity but this is how it's going to work so in this what in this part right here just me assuming so them having their bone like let's say bob right here wanted to buy damn token on shibaria so they would get their bone if they have it on the Ethereum side, and I mean, if you're already on the Ethereum side, boom, you can just buy it directly. But if you're on the Ethereum side and you have not bridged over, having issues with bridging, blah, 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 they're going to be able to make this process a little bit more simpler. So you have your bone token, probably connect to their DAP if they create one, and it goes directly into the K9 delegating system where you're going to be receiving passive income um, just by, you know, delegating and not only that is going to spit out k9 bone guys so k9 bone is the same thing as bone so automatically once you delegate it you automatically receive this k9 bone so with this k9 bone you could turn around and do whatever you want to do with it if you want to buy token a if you want to buy soul killer if you want to buy nfts it's going to give us a little bit more access or easier access to be able to come on Shibaria. Now, when that happens, guys, and again, this is outside of ShibaSwap 2.0. Because ShibaSwap 2.0, when that is released, there's going to be so many different projects. At least I'm hoping there's going to be so many different projects that's going to be on there. So when you add K9 Finance to the mix, they're going to be that liquidity aspect of, as well, guys. Because... ShibaSwap 2.0 is going to automatically take away a lot of tokens from circulating supply. Then this is going to also just, you know, add to that mix as well, too. So this is why I'm super excited, guys, about it. And and I am and it's kind of hard to, like, try to reconfigure as far as, like, where do I think Bone could get at? There's too many positive stuff that's happening in the background that's currently working and i get it we all are impatient we want to see shiba swap 2.0 come out today you know 
I get that. I do too. But in the meanwhile, because we know it's coming, and just like how the team, and, and again, you just got to also judge the team based upon their track record. Some stuff, they are slow as far as doing it. We could admit that. You know, Shabarium for once, even she was swapped 1.0 when that first came out because it was delayed a little bit. But eventually it came out and it all worked. So I think the same thing is going to happen as well for Bone. Just got to be a little bit more patient because if it was my first rodeo as far as dealing with, you know, Shaitoshi Kusama and the team over there, I would be a little bit more worried. And this is why you guys don't see me really stress the issue with it because everything that they said that they were going to do when it comes to like projects, they checked it off on, on, you know, on their list. But one thing about it too, though, we definitely don't want it to be, you know, six months into the Bitcoin having, and we still don't have that Shiba Swap 2.0. Like I, I think, you know, maybe between any time between now and maybe three or four months down the line is acceptable because the real action really doesn't start until really Q4. Yeah, Q4 of this year going into 2025 when it comes to all. So we still have plenty of time. Um, and this is why I judge my exit based upon how I've seen past cycles. But guys, really, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Randomar signing off. Peace.